The HS-404 was an autocannon produced by Hispano Sizer and Derivates and was widely used as both an aircraft and land-based weapon in the 20th century by French, British, American and numerous other military services, particularly during the Second World War. The cannon is also referred to as Burkick Type 404, after its designer Mark Burkick, and later versions based on British development are known as 20mm Hispano. Firing a 20mm caliber projectile, it delivered a useful load of explosive from a relatively light weapon. This made it an ideal anti-aircraft weapon for mounting on light vehicles, as well as a fighter aircraft gun, replacing the multiple 7.62mm and .303-inch machine guns commonly used in military aircraft of the 1930s. The HS-404 was produced by the French subsidiary of Hispano Sizer. Development from Oerlikon to Hispano, in the 1930s, Hispano Sizer SA was licensed to build an engine drive shaft version of the Swiss Oerlikon FFS or Becker model, an advanced primer ignition blowback design, firing from an open bolt. The Oerlikon FFS was based on the Oerlikon 20mm anti aircraft auto cannon. The Hispano Sizer version was called the Hispano Sizer automatic cannon type HS7 and HS9. The Swiss cannon, like all pre war Oerlikon guns, was a blowback weapon with certain unique features a barrel that does not recoil and a heavy breech block which is never locked against the breech and actually moves forward when the gun is fired. Shortly after production began, the Hispano Sizer and Oerlikon companies disagreed over patent rights and their business connection came to an end. In 1933, the chief engineer of Hispano Sizer, Mark Burkig, began work on the design of an entirely new weapon to replace the Oerlikon contract, based on a locking mechanism patented in 1919 by the American machine gun designer Carl Sweetbilius. The result was the Type 404, or HS-404. While the HS-404 resembled the parent Oerlikon FFS in many respects, its repeating mechanism was gas-operated. When the projectile passes a port cut into the barrel, Hot gas behind the projectile is siphoned off and enters a chamber. There it pressed against a piston. The piston is connected to a rod that unlocks the bolt, allowing the gas pressure in the barrel to drive the bolt backward. Since the bolt was locked during firing, the heavy bolt of the Oerlikon could be replaced by a much lighter one, which greatly increased the rate of fire to 700 rounds per minute, about 200 rounds minute greater than the Oerlikon. In 1938, Berkig patented it and started production in their Geneva factory. In the comparable MGFF a Euro a Swiss development of the Oerlikon a Euro the mechanism remained an advanced primer ignition blowback, and lightening of the bolt was only achieved by a lighter charge, which also lowered muzzle velocity. Still, the Hispano retained its advantage in rate of fire throughout the war compared to the MGFF. Anti-aircraft gun the HS-404's predecessor, the Oerlikon Auto Cannon, was rather heavy and the movement of the heavy bolt made it best suited in static and maritime anti-aircraft defense. In contrast the lighter bolt of the HS-404 made it well suited to mounting on vehicles. The M-16, an anti-aircraft version of the M-3 half-track, could be equipped with single or double American-made copies of the Hispano Sizer Auto Cannon. This variant of the M3 half-track was used by U.S. and Commonwealth forces late in the Second World War and in the Korean War and was further developed by Israel in the post-war era. Aircraft gun In 1938, an aircraft-based version of the HS-404 was produced at the request of the French government. It was installed on a wide range of pre-war French fighter plane designs, notably in installations firing through the drive shaft of the Hispano Sizer 12Y engine, a system referred to as a motor cannon. The HS-404 was fed by drum magazines that could accommodate 60 rounds at most. Since in most installations the magazine could not be switched during flight, the small ammunition capacity was a weakness. In 1940, Hispano Sizer was developing a belt feeding system, as well as derivatives of the HS-404 in heavier calibers such as 23 on but these projects were halted with the German occupation of France. British production, in the build-up to the Second World War, 
the United Kingdom had embarked on a program to develop cannon armed fighters. They acquired a license to build the HS 404, which entered production as the Hispano MKI intended as aeroplane armament. Its first use was in the Westland Whirlwind of 1940, and later in the more powerful Bristol Bowfighter, providing the Royal Air Force with powerful cannon armed interceptors. The experience of the Battle of Britain had shown the batteries of eight rifle caliber machine guns to be inadequate and prompted the adoption of auto cannon armament for the primary portion of Royal Air Force fighters. The Bowfighter highlighted the need for a belt feed mechanism. As a night fighter, the 60 round drums needed to be replaced in the dark by the radar wireless operator, often while the aircraft was maneuvering to keep sight of its quarry. In addition, the early trial installations in the Hawker Hurricane and Supermarine Spitfire had shown a tendency for the gun to jam during combat maneuvers, leading to some official doubt as to the suitability of cannons as the sole main armament. This led briefly to the Air Ministry specifying 12 machine gun armament for new fighters. Subsequently a suitable belt feeding system was developed by Martin Baker and the new design was adopted by the RAF and Fleet Air Arm in 1941 in a slightly modified form as the Hispano MKII. Four cannons replaced the 8.303 Browning machine guns in the Hurricane and in some tropical versions of the Spitfire, becoming standard armament in later fighters. Most other Spitfires had only two cannons, because of technical difficulties, along with four 0.303 caliber or two 0.50 caliber machine guns. The British were concerned their production would be inadequate and licensed production of the Hispano to the U.S. However, the U.S. production never became satisfactory and the British eventually gave up on the U.S. versions. British production was eventually increased to the point where this was no longer an issue. The ultimate version of the British wartime Hispanos was the Hispano MKV, which had a shorter barrel together and lacked the cocking cylinder thus requiring manual cocking before flight. It was lighter and had a higher rate of fire, although at the expense of some muzzle velocity. The shorter barrel meant that the weapon could be housed within the wing of a fighter plane, reducing drag and making them less vulnerable to freezing and mechanical stress. One of the main British fighters to use the MKV was the Hawker Tempest MKV Series 2, which mounted two cannons in each wing. Ammunition types available included semi-armor piercing, incendiary and high explosive, incendiary. U.S. Production The British version was also licensed for use in the United States as the M1, with both the United States Army Air Corps and U.S. Navy planning to switch to the 20mm caliber as soon as the gun could be produced in sufficient numbers. A very large building program was established, along with production of ammunition, in 1941. When delivered, the guns proved to be extremely unreliable and suffered a considerable number of misfires due to the round being lightly struck by the firing pin. The British were interested in using this weapon to ease production in England, but after receiving the M1 they were disappointed. British wing-mounted fighter weapons by this period were cocked on the ground by the aircraft armourers before flight, the built-in pneumatic cocking mechanism used previously being regarded as unnecessary weight and detrimental to aircraft performance, so any stoppage in flight made the gun unusable until it could be cleared on the ground. The misfires also had the tendency to cause aircraft with wing-mounted guns to yaw towards the wing with the failed gun when the guns were fired, due to the unequal recoil, thus throwing off the pilot's aim. In April 1942 a copy of the British MKI was sent to the US for comparison. The British version used a slightly shorter chamber and did not have the same problems as the US version of the cannon. The US declined to modify the chamber of their version but nonetheless made other modifications to create the unreliable M2. By late 1942 the USAAF had 40 million rounds of ammunition stored but the guns remained unsuitable. The US Navy had been trying to go all cannon throughout the war but the conversion never occurred. As late as December 1945 the Army's Chief of Ordnance was still attempting to complete additional changes to the design to allow it to enter service. Some variations of the 20 arm guns used on the Lockheed P-38 Lightning aircraft were produced by International Harvester. The P-38's nose-mounted M2 featured a built-in cocking system, and could simply be re-cocked in flight after a misfire, 
which made the misfires less of a problem than with other aircraft. The U.S. followed the British development closely and when the MKV was designed, the Americans followed suit with the ANM-3 but unreliability continued. After World War II the United States Air Force adopted a version of the M3 cannon as the M24, similar in most respects except for the use of the addition of electrical cocking, allowing the gun to recock over a lightly struck round. The problems of the American weapons led to most U.S. fighters being equipped with the ANM 2.50 calories Browning light barrel HMG throughout the war. Post-war development after the war the Hispano variants disappeared fairly quickly as fighter armament due to the introduction of revolver cannons, based on the prototype versions of the never-produced German wartime Mauser MG 213 cannon. The British introduced the powerful revolving 30mm caliber Aden cannon in most of their post-war designs, while the French used the very similar DEFA cannon, firing similar ammunition. Similarly, the USAF introduced the 20mm 39 cannon to replace the M24, while the Navy instead combined the original Hispano design with a lighter round for better muzzle velocity in the cold MK-12 cannon. As a ground vehicle mounted gun either anti-aircraft or as a general purpose autocannon, the HS-404 lasted into the 1960s. A power turret variant is still in production in Honduras and is used as a light anti-aircraft gun by the Army and Navy in several nations. The ANM-3 was developed into the Mk-16 Colt 20mm automatic cannon, one of the main weapons on boats of the Mobile River Iron Force in the Vietnam War and also used on some larger amphibious ships. Properties The Hispano fired a 130AG 20mm diameter projectile from a 110mm long casing, the whole round weighing 257 ag. Lengths of the projectiles varied with type, but were set to variable depth in the casing to produce a total full round length of 184 mm regardless of projectile type. The gun has a muzzle velocity between 840 and 880 mm per second, depending on barrel length. Rate of fire was between 600 and 850 rounds per minute. The gun was 2.36 am long weighing between 42 and 50 a kg. The British Mk5 and American M3 per meter 24 weapons were lighter and had higher rates of fire than the early HS404 guns. Users, France. HS404, Block MB152, Breguet 693, D. Wouatine D500, D. Wouatine D520, Lyra copyright Olivier Leo 45. Moraine Solnier MS. 406, Potis 631. United Kingdom and British Empire, Hispano MK. I, Gloucester F937 a Euro a design not taken into service, Westland Whirlwind a Euro the RAF's first cannon armed fighter. Bristol Bowfighter a Euro early aircraft. Hispano MK. 2, Blackburn Firebrand, Blackburn Firecrest. Bristol Bowfighter, CAC Boomerang, Consolidated Liberator I, De Havilland Mosquito, Douglas Boston III, Fanny Ray Firefly, Gloucester Meteor, Hawker Hurricane MKIIC and 4, Hawker Tempest MKVSRSI, Hawker Typhoon MKIB, Martin Baker MB3 A Euro Prototype, North American Mustang IA, Supermarine Spitfire Marks Vita Mark 20. Hispano MKV, or copyright Ross Party L. Alouette 3, Avro Lincoln, Avro Shackleton, Bristol Brigand, De Havilland Hornet and Sea Hornet, De Havilland Vampire, De Havilland Venom and De Havilland Sea Venom, English Electric Canberra BMK 6 and B, I, MK 8, Hawker Fury and Sea Fury, Hawker Sea Hawk, Hawker Tempest MK VSRS 2 and subsequent marks, Martin Baker MB 5 A Euro Prototype, Saunders Row Senior A-1, Supermarine Attacker, Supermarine Seafung, Supermarine Spiteful, Supermarine Spitfire Euro Marks 21 and later, Westland Welkin, Westland Wyvern. United States. M1, Bell P-39 Arakabra, some early 20mm armed models and RAF Bell Arakabra I Lockheed P-38 Lightning. Some early 20mm armed models and RAF Lockheed Lightning I. ANM-2, Bell P-400, 
Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, in tail turret with two 0.5-in machine guns, Douglas A-1 Sky Raider, Douglas F-3D Skik Knight, Grumman F-9F Panther, Grumman F-9 Cougar, Lockheed P-38 Lightning, Northrop P-61 Black Widow, Transport F-4U1 Sea Corsair, T-31 Douglas A-2D Skyshook, M-3, Transport F-4U4 B Corsair and all following versions, Transport F-6U Pirate, Transport F-7U Cutlass, Douglas A-3 Sky Warrior, Grumman F-9 F Panther, Grumman F-8 F Barkat, used M-3s from the F-8 F-1 Beyond, Grumman F-9 Cougar, M-24, Convair B-36, Boeing B-47 Straighter Jet, Douglas B-66 Destroyer, Northrop F-89 C Scorpion, Yugoslavia, HS-404, Icarus IK-2, Rogoa three-quarters Arsky IK-3. Sweden, Hispano MKV Aircraft, Saab 29 Tunnen, Saab 32 Lanzan. Hispano MKV Armored Vehicles, Panzer Band Van 302 The vehicle used cannons from scrapped Saab 29 aircraft and mounted them on the 302 armored vehicle. Panzer Terror Currency NGBIL 203A is with the 302, the 203A use a single 20mm cannon from scrapped Saab 29 aircraft. Argentina, Hispano MK. EIE 24 Calkin. Hispano MKV, IE 30A Anchor FMA A33 Palkri 2. Specifications HS 404, Type, Single Barrel Automatic Cannon, Caliber. 20 armor, 110, operation, gas operated, length without muzzle brake, 2.32 am, length with muzzle brake, 2.52 am, weight without drum magazine, 43 akg, weight, 68.7 akg, rate of fire, 600 euro 700 rpms, muzzle velocity, 840 to 880 ams, recoil force, 400 akg with muzzle brake, ammunition, Ball, incendiary, HE, projectile weight, HE and HEI, 130A. G, APT, 168AG, HE and HEI rounds explosive filler, 6 to 11AG, ammunition, US, World War II, ammunition was shipped in rectangular 10 shell fiberboard cartons. There were 12 cartons per metal line wooden packing crate. 20 mm ball MK. I, weight, 0.28 LB, weight, 0.56 LB each. Weight, 93.6 LB. Volume, 1.45 cubic feet. 20 mm high explosive, incendiary MK. I, fuse, number 253 MKIA direct action fuse. Weight, 0.29 LB, weight. 0.03 LB of high explosive and incendiary fillers. Weight, 0.57 LB each. Weight, 94.8 LB. Volume, 1.45 cubic feet. 20 mm armor piercing, Tracer M75. Weight, 0.37 LB. Weight, 0.64 LB each. Weight, 103 LB. Volume. 1.45 cubic feet. Post war, the M90 series of shells were ballistically matched to make it easier to use different types without losing accuracy. Ammunition was shipped in 25 round metal canisters. There were six metal canisters per wooden crate. 20 mm drill M18A2, weight, A, weight, A, each, weight, A, volume. 1.5 cubic feet. 20 mm armor piercing, Tracer M95. Weight, 0.29 LB. Weight, 0.57 LB each. Weight, 106 LB. Volume, 1.5 cubic feet. 20 mm incendiary M96. Weight, 0.27 LB. Weight, 0.55 LB each. Weight, 103 LB. Volume, 1.5 cubic feet. 20 mm high explosive, incendiary M97, weight, 0.29 LB, weight, 
0.57 lb each. Weight, 106 lb. Volume, 1.5 cubic feet. 20 mm training practice M99, weight, 0.29 lb, weight, 0.57 lb each. Weight, 106 lb. Volume, 1.5 cubic feet. See also, Hispano Size HS 820mg FF Cannon, Schwack Cannon, References, War Department Training Manual TM 9-227 20mm M1 Automatic Gun and 20mm ANM 2 Automatic Gun. External links, The Short Film Staff Film Report 66-19A is available for free download at the Internet Archive, more.